rivalry, South rivalry coming up. Where does UAB fall? Uh, UAB is fall first because, um, you know, that's the first game of the season. And, you know, they say the first game of the season will determine how your season will turn out. You know, it's like uh, it's like the pig of a fire. You got you to gotta dig the pig first before you can build a fire. What do you know about this year's UAB team? Uh, we don't know too much about them because, you know, they got a new coaching staff. But, you know, we've been preparing ourselves for a lot of things. So, uh, you know, it's just going to be basically mainly showing up and um, going out there and play. I guess you don't have very good memories of Legionville, do you? Uh, no, nah, because I wasn't there. I was, um, right. you know, I had the, the long contusion last year around this town. You know, so I, I wasn't at that game. I was just, you know, hearing about it. And, you know, we was up big. And then, you know, I sent, somebody sent me a text message that said we lost. And that kind of... I was like, you know, just laying in bed wondering what the world happened. So, uh, you know, this would be my first time going up that way. So when they told you you were ahead, you just decided to go take a nap and relax and thought it was in the bag? Uh, yeah, I thought it was in the bag because, you know, it oh. had a big lead. And, you know, I was happy. And I was like, yeah, my boys are there doing anything. And then, you know, came back, you know, checked my phone and disappointed. How much more frustrating was it when you found out how they lost the game? Um, It was like... So almost like an embarrassment, you know. Uh, you know, at first of all, you know, you kind of you can't blame nobody for that call because, um, you know, the way the game was going, they shouldn't even been in that situation. Yeah, I guess kind of piggybacking off that a lot. I know y'all have a lot to prove defensively from last year. Just you know, I know y'all had guys hurt and all that, but you know, I know you feel like y'all y'all are a lot better than you were last year there, right? Oh uh, yeah, the energy a lot better. You know, we got a lot more people that want to play. You know. Uh, I think uh, last year was an awakening. You know, you got a lot of people coming out there, they're motivated now. Uh, a lot of people came out there last year, you know, they kind of looked at it like they didn't want to be there, like uh, like it was a choice that somebody put a gun to their head and told them they had to be there. But now it's like people want to be there and they show a lot of pride and they're ready to work and they're ready to get better. How much are y'all better at actually the fundamental part out there, you know, just making plays and stuff like that? Uh, Fundamental-wise, you know, uh, Coach Brian came in. He, uh, he kind of issued this little uh, situation of practice. Like, we have to get three turnovers a day. If we don't get the three turnovers, we have to, like, run, you know, for every turnover we don't get. And uh, fundamental-wise, we just have to, you know, go out there and concentrate. Because, you know, when you get tired, you kind of lose your kind of lose your form. You have to get back in shape, and your coaches have to keep harping it on you and putting it in your mind. But uh, since we, Coach Brown put that little you know, situation on us, we all be out to get our – get a turnover every every day at practice and we have to get three so you know that's that's kind of motivation and it's almost it's fun too we're going out there just getting the fumbles and getting interceptions and it makes you a better player how many times did y'all not make the three um this this fall we didn't we probably went probably a total of three practices okay three or four. out of like 20 or something out of like 20 practices so you know we, we've been pretty good on that you know, just hope it carries on into the season.